Welcome to the heart of Central America, a land of vibrant colors, rich history, and diverse cultures. But have you ever wondered about the diversity of people who make up Guatemala? Who are the Mestizo Ladinos and the Maya? And why does understanding their differences matter to us today? In this journey, we'll dive into the essence of Guatemalan identity, exploring the roots, the conflicts, and the coexistence of these two significant groups. Stay with us as we unravel a story woven with threads of history, culture, and humanity. But before we delve deeper, let's ask ourselves, can the history of a nation be told through the lives of its people? Join us as we seek answers and perspectives uncovering the layers of Guatemala's Mestizo Ladinos and Maya. The narrative of the Mestizo Ladinos in Guatemala is a maze of cultural and ethnic fusion. In historical context, the term Ladino found its roots in Latin America, specifically within the heart of Central America, as a moniker for individuals of a hybrid or Hispanicized lineage. Within the borders of Guatemala, this combination predominantly encapsulates Spanish and indigenous lineages. Tracing back to the age of colonial conquest, the beginning of the Mestizo Ladino identity unfurled during the era of Spanish colonialists who blended their lives with the indigenous populace. This century-spanning melding birthed a distinctive faction a group that did not align entirely with either their Spanish or indigenous predecessors, but rather morphed into a unique cultural persona known informally as Ladino. This identity is not merely a reflection of racial lineage, but also an intricate mixture of cultural practices, linguistic nuances and social stratification. In the Guatemalan context, Ladinos are predominantly recognized by their embracement of Hispanic lingua and customs, setting them apart from the indigenous Maya, who have preserved a substantial portion of their ancestral culture and dialects. Grasping this historical backdrop is important, for it lays the groundwork for understanding the intricate interplay between Mestizo Ladinos and Maya in modern-day Guatemala. This interaction is marked by a division of cohabitation and discord, a result of centuries of social and cultural metamorphosis. The Maya are a people whose history is as rich as it is ancient. The Maya civilization, one of the most prominent of the pre-Columbian cultures, flourished in what is now Guatemala, Belize, and parts of Mexico, Honduras, and El Salvador. Their civilization dates back as far as 2000 BC and is renowned for its remarkable advancements in fields such as astronomy, mathematics and architecture. Witnessed the construction of magnificent cities like Tikal and Copan with their towering pyramids, palaces and temples. The Maya developed a sophisticated writing system, the only known fully developed writing system of the pre-Columbian Americas as well as intricate artwork and a deep understanding of the calendar and astronomical events. Despite the decline of their cities around 900 AD, the Maya people did not disappear. They continued to live in the region, maintaining many aspects of their culture and heritage. Today, they form a significant portion of the Guatemalan population, with a rich tapestry of languages, traditions and beliefs that have survived and evolved over centuries. In the post-colonial period, the dynamics between the Mestizo Ladinos and the Maya in Guatemala have been characterized by complex socio-political interactions and evolving identities. After Guatemala gained independence in the early 19th century, the newly formed nation continued to experience a social hierarchy inherited from colonial times. The Mestizo Ladinos, often more aligned with Western Hispanic culture, found themselves in positions of greater political and economic power, while the Maya, with their distinct indigenous cultures and languages, were frequently marginalized. Throughout the 20th century, these disparities were further entrenched. The Maya faced systemic inequalities, limited access to resources, and often discrimination based on their indigenous heritage. Before the Guatemalan Civil War, the United States was involved in supporting a coup d'etat in Guatemala. This occurred in 1954, when the CIA orchestrated Operation PB success to overthrow the democratically elected president of Guatemala, Jacobo Arbenz Guzman. 
This intervention was driven by concerns about Arbenz's agrarian reforms and perceived leftist tendencies, which were viewed as a threat to American interests, particularly those of the United Fruit Company, a US-based corporation with significant agricultural holdings in Guatemala. The coup led to the installation of a military government which aligned more closely with US anti-communist policies. However, this power shift contributed to the political instability and social unrest that eventually spiralled into the Guatemalan Civil War. From 1960 to 1996, Guatemala was engulfed in a war that pitted the government, supported by the United States, against various leftist rebel groups, including indigenous Mayan populations. The conflict was marked by extreme violence and human rights violations. It is estimated that between 140,000 to 200,000 people were killed or disappeared during this period. The war disproportionately affected the indigenous Mayan population, who constituted about 83% of those killed. The violence was so severe that it led to the destruction of numerous villages and the displacement of millions. The peace accords of 1996 finally brought an end to the conflict, but the legacy of the war continues to shape Guatemalan society. This act only effectuated the end of the war on paper. In reality, the war continued to rage long after the peace accords were signed, largely as a result of the government's failure to acknowledge the war's root causes and dismantle the government and military actors responsible for carrying out the mass human rights violations. Numerous times in the most recent decade, numerous amnesty laws were proposed that aimed to prevent persons responsible for previously committing war crimes genocide and crimes against humanity from being formally charged and convicted for their crimes. This period also saw the Maya increasingly asserting their rights and cultural identity, challenging the dominant narrative imposed by the mestizo Ladino majority. The latter half of the 20th century was marked by civil unrest and conflict, with the Maya populations severely affected. Post-Civil War, there's been a growing recognition of Maya rights and culture, partially due to the efforts of various indigenous movements and international pressure. This period has seen a reassertion of Maya identity and a re-evaluation of their role in Guatemalan society. In Guatemala, the cultural and societal tapestry is vividly colored by the differences between the Mestizo Ladino and Mayan communities. The Mestizo Ladinos, influenced heavily by Spanish colonial heritage, tend to align with Western cultural norms. Their customs, celebrations and daily life reflect a blend of indigenous and Spanish traditions. In contrast, the Mayan communities have preserved much of their ancestral heritage. They maintain traditional practices, rituals and a deep connection to their historical roots often observed in their clothing, religious practices, and communal events. Linguistically, the Mestizo Ladinos primarily speak Spanish, the official language of Guatemala. The Maya, however, have preserved their indigenous languages with over 20 different Mayan languages spoken across the country. In societal terms, these cultural and linguistic differences have historically impacted the roles and perceptions of these groups. Mestizo Ladinos, often urban-based, have been more integrated into the national political and economic systems, sometimes perceived as more modern or advanced. Mayan communities, especially in rural areas, have faced challenges in accessing education and economic opportunities, partly due to these cultural differences. These disparities have shaped perceptions within Guatemalan society. The Maya are often unjustly viewed as backward or traditional in a pejorative sense, while Mestizo Ladinos are sometimes seen as disconnected from the indigenous roots of the country. However, there is a growing recognition of the richness of Mayan culture and its integral role in the national identity of Guatemala. Moving into the present day, we find that both the Mestizo Ladinos and the Mayan communities in Guatemala continue to face a variety of contemporary issues and challenges. Social inclusion remains a significant challenge, especially for the Mayan population. 
Despite their rich cultural heritage, many Mayans find themselves on the peripheries of Guatemalan society, struggling with limited access to education, healthcare, and political representation. Mestizo Ladinos, while generally more integrated into mainstream society, also grapple with issues of inequality and regional disparities. For the Mayan communities, preserving their unique cultural identities, languages, and traditions in the face of globalization and assimilation pressures is a major concern. Efforts to maintain and celebrate indigenous cultures often clash with a national narrative that tends to prioritize Hispanic influences. Discrimination against the Mayans is a deeply rooted issue in Guatemala. This discrimination manifests in various forms, from overt racism to systemic barriers that impede the full participation of Mayans in national life. The Guatemalan government's approach to Maya heritage, often promoting it for tourism, while neglecting the needs of the modern Maya, exacerbates this issue. Economic inequality affects both groups, but is particularly acute in Mayan areas, which often lack investment and development opportunities. This disparity contributes to a cycle of poverty and limited social mobility. The struggle for greater political representation and the protection of indigenous rights is ongoing. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of the rich history and complex dynamics between the Mestizo Ladino and Maya communities. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Don't miss our next video. Click the link on the screen or in the description below to dive into the vibrant traditions and histories of another remarkable community. Remember to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. See you in the next video.